Hey guys, it's Tom here with Meet You There RV Repair and Solar. Uh, install here today on a 24 RLS outdoors RV. We're in Bend, Oregon. It's been snowing off and on, which has made the job pretty tricky. Um, but we finally got there in the end and I'll, uh, I'll show you around. So 800 watts of solar. The Zan port that comes with these can only accommodate, I think, 210, uh, three of the 170 watt panels. So we remove that, we utilize the wire run, which gives us pretty much open possibility. So 800 watts, two series, two series, so a two series, two parallel configuration, which gives a nice uh, kind of backup when the sun is coming over a curved roof so that half of the panel, two of the panels out of the four, aren't getting direct sunlight so at least they're in their own series string which will help a little bit with that. Um, yeah, I'll show you around. This uh, 24 RLS and most of the outdoors RVs that are under 25 feet are all 30 amp or 30 amp rig. We use the MultiPlus Original which uh, is an inverter charger so it's a really really good charger. The factory guys on this, the factory converters, um, they have a lithium switch so you can use that uh, when you go to lithium but uh, it's gonna charge those lithium batteries at 30 or 40 amps and, and not as really as well as this Victron charge. This thing's a 120 amp charger, uh, which basically means it's gonna charge that bank at three times the rate of the factory converter, which for this customer, which has 618 amp hours, um, having a really fast charger is obviously super important. And of course the inverter function. So whenever this customer unplugs that shore cord, basically, they'll blink and nothing will really change. This whole rig will still be electrified. The air conditioner, then we put a soft start uh, in the air conditioner, so we had to run the air conditioner from his battery bank. All the outlets, microwave, everything will function as if they were still plugged into a 30 amp. So. One of the big reasons that this customer wanted uh, a nice upgrade on this trailer is the trip to Alaska that they're gonna take and they'll be doing more driving than maybe uh, the normal trailer owner might be doing. And so they'll be driving every four or five days and they wanna make sure that they can charge really well from the truck while they're driving as well as the solar because if you have the chuck tra charging the batteries and the solar charging the batteries that's a really good combination so we put in an orion dc to dc charger which you'll see inside outside we've got an anderson uh, battery quick connect but we also ran the line in their nice truck and we'll uh they'll plug this in as well as plugging their seven pin in they'll plug this in which will give them uh, a good amount of charge as they're going down the road hello it's amazing how comfortable you'll sleep on 618 amp hours of battery and some nice expensive Victron components. Just under here is where we put everything. The customer went with three SOK 206 amp hour batteries. So these guys are really, really compact. They're great batteries. So there's certain brands that we love and certain brands we maybe avoid, but we don't have too much of a preference. But the SOKs, really the thing for me is their form factor. About the same size as a group 27 battery a little taller but 206 amp hour they're really really good blue sea system safety equipment i've got our solar disconnect there we've got our orion right there our mppt and our links distributor with all our fusing the servo down there a little flashing light the brain of all of this so the servo is going to take all of the information from all of these blue devices including the inverter and the shunt and bring it all together uh, make sure they're talking to each other and uh, it also allows me to access the customer's setup really from wherever they are in the world as long as the servo is connected to the internet and then we'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. So as well as uh, the servo being able to connect to the internet and I was talking about me remotely accessing a lot of the customer's settings and seeing what's going on with their system from wherever they are. Um, it obviously also brings all of those devices together, the solar, the battery, the inverter, um, and it puts it on this nice screen. So. Tells us what's going on, how much power is coming in from shore, how much AC, how much we're running in the coach, the you know DC and AC in the coach. It separates those, so you can really start to see what what the draw is. So as I was saying, inside with the servo being connected to a Wi-Fi, um, either a phone hotspot or a hotspot in the rig, it's able to transmit all the information that I need, so I can see real-time data on our customers' installs. So I can still see what all those items are doing that the servo is linked to. Uh, I can do firmware updates and just kind of help the customer troubleshoot a little bit from, from wherever they are in case I need to do that. So, very nice feature of that servo. 